Today I'm going to show you a quick trick to pull public crates and items faster. I'm not going to act like I found this out first or created it, I just saw it in a town. If you know who found this out, let me know in the comments. All you will need for this trick to pull faster is a crane, a small engine, and a Logi truck. The first location we will look over is storage depots. One of the first things you will notice about this trick is that you're only able to retrieve one crate at a time. So you're not able to retrieve three at a time, which is kind of its downside, but it goes so much faster. The pull times are actually 2.5 seconds, uh, where the normal pull time, if you were to pull one crate of shirts, is more around 8 to 10 seconds. So then you do that three times, um, so that you're at looking at seven uh, 0.5 seconds for three shirt crates and then if you try and retrieve three at the same time that looks about to be about 12 to 15 seconds so it's almost double the speed so all you have to do is transfer those crates to the inventory of the storage depot and then you will climb in your doom truck or logi truck and then put them into the logi truck um, so it takes some shifting around and the inventory in the storage depot needs to be clear as well one of the biggest benefits of this trick is pulling uh, artillery shells. It is extremely fast. Um, it is also 2.5 seconds to pull these 120s. I don't know if it's just 2.5 seconds for all. I didn't test all items, but um, it's the same things as shirts where it's extremely faster to pull them in this method than it is the regular method. I just wanted to show you a quick example of how much slower it is to pull just with the Logi truck. So the main thing uh, that's going to come into play is where is the best place to stick the small engine by the storage depot. Now we're going to take a look at safe houses and relic bases essentially. So one of the key differences with pulling from a safe house or a relic base is that we actually can retrieve multiple items in this case because they are not crates. So I'm retrieving multiple shirts um, and this is again, I timed it 2.5 seconds and doing it the normal way takes about 12 seconds. Here's an example of me pulling the shirts normally. Throughout this video, we just need to think how best we can utilize this kind of trick or strategy. You know, it might be patched out in this next update. Um, we have no idea, but for now, it, I think it's something that we can utilize. The last spot we'll look at is seaports. So again, the main thing to consider with this strategy is where can we put the small engine where it won't um, cause any inefficiencies or obstructions and that we're actually getting good use out of it. I think before this war ends, it would be a good idea to go to each Logi hub and kind of test out where the best spots for these trains would be. As I'm showing here again, you need to make sure that the inventory is not cluttered up like the seaports, um, because that's just the easiest way to put the crates into the inventory and then pull them back into your Logi truck. Overall, I think this is a pretty neat trick and it'd be pretty cool to see people utilize this and make it efficient. Um, I'll be looking around the next war to see if anybody's doing this. Overall, the overall lesson is I wish we could pull things faster from public. Maybe not this fast, but at least, you know, it's 2.5 out of this train. If we had like five or six seconds for public polling, that would be fantastic. Um, I hope they change that one day. But yeah, let me know if you tried this trick out. Um, let me know if you have any feedback about this trick, if you think it's useful or not useful. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.